I'm Dave. <laughs> and I'm not Dave. <laughs> I'm Wally. We're here for another uh, uh, edition of uh, Roof It Right with Dave and Wally. Why, by the way, why do you get top billing? I'm uh, uh, seniority. Yeah, all yeah. that and alphabetical, I guess. Okay, so we have our, our roof plan here for our for our tapered system. We've already got our three inch base layer down. So now we need to start snapping our lines to make our our hips for for drainage for our water. So kind of what we've done off this plan, what we're going to do, Dave, we're going to come off that outside edge. We're going to measure in 18 feet. Right. We're going to drop a mark. And we're going to measure from that mark 16 feet and drop another mark. Then off this little inside corner, according to this plan, we're going to come in four feet, drop a mark. Since we don't, we're still tearing off over here. We kind of we don't really have our, our outside our outside measurement here, so we kind of got to cheat in. We're going to come in seven foot off the wall on the insulation we have laid out. We're going to drop a mark. Basically, all we're going to do. What are we going to do here? We're just going to connect the dots. Yeah. <laughs> Snap a line, snap our line from a mark here, all the way over here. That should coincide with the center of that drain. Okay. And that's good for our water flow. Do we have a chalk line? Uh, you were supposed to get that. Mm. Okay. Do we have chalk? Uh, let's that see would, if we can find some. Come on, chalk. Line. Okay, so we're getting ready to install our tapered package. As you can see, we've got all our three inch fill. We've got the mechanically fastened down. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna come in and lay in our tapered. Um, we're gonna do that low rise foam. Now, from our other videos, we had talked about, you know, how you can actually mechanically attach like I did here, but we're trying to make this a little more efficient, go a little faster. So if we were to mechanically attach this down, we'd have to use different size screws. So just to give you an example, like double A, we're going to start our double A panel, which goes from half inch to an inch. Then our A panel goes from inch to inch and a half. Our B panel goes from inch and a half to two inch. Our C goes from two to two and a half. And then we drop back down to a double A, which goes half inch to inch. And then our, our, our A panel goes from one inch to inch and a half. And that's going to tie into that, to that wood nailer there. If you could imagine, if you had to mechanically attach these, I may have a three inch screw down there. I may end up with a six or seven inch screw down there, depending on a taper. I mean, you can up, taper packages get crazy. You can up with a 12, 14, 16 inch screw. So again, we're just trying to make this a little more efficient, a little more faster by going with the low rise foam route. Guys, we got our our our, uh, our hip lines. We're gonna snap to coincide with our drain. We're gonna snap a chalk lines. This is where we're gonna have to cut this. And other pieces gonna tie this. It's gonna be kind of be our high point because water's draining this way and this way. It's gonna run to that valley. Then all we're gonna use on this whole four by four piece is pretty much this little corner here. So I'm gonna have to put that there, snap the line, make it look straight. Because uh, like I said, all we need is this little piece. Holly, you hold it right battery. here. This is slow. Yeah. 